So where do I even start? Great rises, great rises, great rises, great rises to Divine's Empire. My name is Divine. If you don't know who I am, if this is the first time you come to my channel, that is a crime. However, you are here today, and that's all that matters. Make sure you subscribe and then like and then stay for the rest of your life. Yeah. So 2023 was the year that I knew I was gonna hit a thousand subscribers. I worked so hard for my thousand, even though through that time period leading up to the thousand subscribers, I was on and off, on and off, on and off. But I knew 2023, I'm going to hit a thousand subscribers. This journey, like, not even just the thousand subscribers, just life. This journey has been so emotional for me. Not because I feel like it's hard, but I feel like I'm growing as a, a human, as an individual, as a woman. I'm growing and I literally had to evaluate myself this entire year. The only thing that gave me life was creating. I am in love with creating. But as you know, as everybody knows, when you're on your life path, the path that you need to be on, God sends the devil to confuse and destroy. To see if you will continue. I'm just really sad, y'all. I'm really sad. I just want to give up. I just, just want to give up. I want to give up. And it's not because of nobody else. It's because of me and who I am. I know people are going to be looking like, at me like, God sent the devil. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? But I've always been told that the devil can't do nothing without God's permission. So I believe that both of them work together for the greater good of the individual. I wasn't strong enough to fight my battles because essentially I was fighting me. Today is May 10th. I want to be transparent on here because I want people to know like you have to take ownership for what you're not doing and what you are doing. I feel like I had to go through those things to put me on another level in life, to make me more serious about my craft. What God has put me through has changed me tremendously, has made me more confident in myself, made me more vocal. But you have to understand what my vision is before you can put your input in. I said I have to edit the video, and once I edit, like when I got, this, when I got these pictures, I looked at the pictures, I kept looking at the pictures, and I came up with the whole poem. Less than three minutes. Literally. Made me want to try new type of content that I never even felt like I could do because I was so shy. Like I didn't want to, you know what I'm saying? And it, it made me depressed because I wouldn't push myself to do what I needed to do. A lot of things I made a priority over my craft because I wanted them so bad, such as love, bro. I'm going through a heartbreak. I've been having on the same clothes for three days. Love is like the strongest drug in the world, in my love, in my world. It was like God was saying, I'm going to let the devil put you in this fire and you're either going to turn into ashes and perish or you're gonna become a diamond. I freaking hurt a lot of people this year because of who I was as a person. And it literally took me to sit down and really be like, oh my gosh, like, 
this is the person I have become and I do not like her. Literally sitting down crying, saying, I really do not like this person. I was still living day to day. I was still putting on a smile. I was still giving off good energy. But deep down inside, I was still so sad and so depressed and had all this like anxiety. I can just remember when I made bondage, the idea when it came to my mind, that's literally how I feel. I feel like I just cannot freaking get over this or I can't let it go. And I, I'm just so like, oh my gosh, like I just, I can't get out. I can't get out and all this earth is growing around me and time is passing and I'm just still holding on on men that did not care anything about me. So I was like, I need to express this the best way I can and that's how bondage came about. And then I feel like every person who has been in love misses that bondage. You get out of it. But you, you're saying, I miss the comfort that they gave me. I don't want to start over with nobody else. I don't want to do this. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't, and you just miss this person that you don't even need to miss. You lock yourself up in isolation and you push everybody out of your life because that's what I, I have done in my life. I have pushed literally everybody away from me because of love. And that's how Missing Bondage came about. I realized through that process, I'm like, I give so much attention to love and I don't give it to myself. 2023 has really taught me and God and the devil has really taught me, you have to let go. And you know exactly what to do. There's always been messages around me showing me how good I am, how great I am. And I have not ever in put a pinpoint on those things. I never like paid attention to those things until now. God can't do it for you. You're the vessel. You're the body here that can complete the task. God can only give you the plan. With the videos, when I was making the videos, I want to shout out my brother, Zuri and Chin, Chin Fams, so they helped me with both. And they were on board. They, my brother found the second location. The first place I had already, well, we all knew about it because it's Kennesaw Mountain. We climbed the mountain, they climbed it with me. And it just felt good to have that support because that was God telling me like, bro, you have support out here, bro. Like people really mess with you and people really love you and you don't have to feel alone. At one point in this year, I felt like, wow, like I have nothing to really live for. I feel like I'm more afraid of dying than I am to leave my son. I really have nothing. And then I thought, I'm like, no, the only reason I'm living right now is because of my son. I say all that to say that I legit had to come to a revelation. I'm not living right. God showed me all the things in my life that I need to let go. Everything has, has come full circle that needed to come full circle. And God is definitely always working. You just have to tune in to what God wants. I have forever been changed within this year. And things are about to get spicy real, real fast.